Hello, welcome to EVs and Beyond. I'm Richard Edwards, and we're now going to work on the Beyond part of that title. Uh, we're here still on the BYD Standard Field Days, and they've got another product that they are launching, and that is the BYD Battery Box. And joining me is the sales manager for the Battery Box, uh, Leo Lee. You're coming across from Sydney. Yes, I First do, time yeah. at Field Days? Yeah, correct. What do you think of it? It's a pretty big event. It's massive, amazing, good turnout, yeah. and you see a variety of products here, so it's very exciting. And you're excited by the shark, I imagine? Yeah. You gonna totally. have one of the company car eventually? Totally, I I signed up. Oh, you already? already. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Wow. Okay, so the BYD battery box. Yeah. Now, can you just explain to me what the BYD battery box is? We'll we'll, we'll walk over towards it actually and have a look. There's a whole pile of information about the wall. But if we head over towards the battery box, uh, it's a. I guess it's a bit like a traditional battery storage system for the home, but it's modular. Can you? Yes, correct. So the BYD battery box is essentially a residential solar battery. Okay. So what it does is that it uh, stores the energy mm. from solar generated during the day, and you can discharge the battery to run your appliances during the evening. Yes. Yeah. So it's a residential storage battery. Right, yeah. right. And what kind of capacities are we talking? I mean, it's modular, so I guess you can go from a small amount to a big amount? That's uh, 100% correct. Um, so we designed it to be a modular system to offer flexibility for customers. Okay, so you can start from just two modules, 5.1 kilo hours, all the way up to 22 kilo hours per stack. And if you need a lot of energy, you can actually parallel different stacks to give you over uh, 66 kilo hours of energy. Wow, yeah. wow. And uh, in regards to management of that, I mean, I guess that's probably the key here. You guys have a fairly extensive management system that allows you to set up that, that system to discharge the energy or, or hold their energy as required? Yes, 100%. So BYD not only produce the battery cells within the product, but we're also a specialist in the BMS, uh, with, which uh, monitors the battery temperature voltages to make sure it's performing at its best level and it's very, uh, maintains its high safety. And we also interact with different inverters, uh, which will charge and discharge the battery accordingly. Uh, depends on your usage and when the solar, uh, solar is out or uh, when the usage is up. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in New Zealand, where solar is perhaps a little bit less common, and we do have cheap green electricity, essentially, essentially at certain times of day, I think I pay about nine cents or something for half the night. Uh, can you use the battery without a solar system, essentially, as a storing power when it's cheap and using it when it's expensive? Yes, you can actually do that. Uh, we've seen people doing that in Australia, uh, and basically you store that uh, energy from the grid when the prices are low, and they discharge it during the night, uh, so that you don't have to pay for expensive electricity uh, at the evening tariff. Yeah. And what's involved in the install? I imagine you need an electri electrician to do it, obviously, but Correct. can it be fitted to most homes? Uh, yes, indeed, because it's a residential battery. Uh, so what you need to do is to contact your local solar company, get a qualified uh, solar installer or electrician. Uh, they will be uh, doing all the wiring and all the commissioning for you. Mm -hmm. And I guess once it's up and running, you've got an app, you can follow it all on? Uh, exactly right. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. The batteries themselves, they are, are they BYD Blade batteries? I mean, how similar are they to what's in, the, in, say, like the Auto 3 we've got sitting over there? Yeah, right. So the battery box is a prismatic uh, BYD cell, uh, which comes from the same factory that manufactured the BYD Blade cells. So LFP? Correct, LFP. Yeah. yeah. What are the advantages you think to having the LFP there? Obviously, there's not so, they're not quite the same power density as NMC at the moment, mm -hmm. but I guess the whole power density is probably not quite so key when it's there, it's not on the road, yep. and there's safety advantages, all those kind of things. Exactly right, because it's stationary storage, and you, you know, most people got a big enough garage to put a battery box in, and so energy density takes a second seat, takes a back seat, yeah. but we prioritize safety. And LFP is the safest chemistry that we know of right now. Yeah, yeah. And is it more cost effective? I mean, what's, what are we costs are we looking at here? I mean, have you got a price per, per stack or what's the... Yeah, yeah. And you are correct. The other reason that we chose uh, LFP instead of NCM is because it's a cheaper cost. And also it's got, got, got a longer longevity. It's a longer cycle life. Yeah. Uh, as far as the cost is concerned, we're looking at about uh, $900 to uh, $1,000 fully installed with all the uh, labor uh, cupboards. Per, per unit? Per, uh, per kilowatt hour. Per kilowatt hour. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so if you're getting like a five kilowatt, the base metal, five and a half kilowatts, you can get about $5,500. Is that kind of roughly in the ballpark? Yes. Are there cost savings with going bigger? I mean, I guess Correct. the inflation cost is roughly the same. Correct, yes. And if you started with five, can you add later without too much drama? Yes. Um, so the modularity means you can always extend the uh, system uh, based on their usage. 
So quite commonly, we see people uh, having a s small family to start with. They're putting in a small battery, but later on, because they got more kids, uh, they got more usage, uh, they buy more appliances, then they come back to us and buy more modules. Right. Yeah. Now, if you want more information on the BYD battery box, where do they go? Is there a local website, or do, I, do we do we get, use that QR code? Over yeah. There? Scan the QR code, uh, put down your information, or you can also go to the BYD batterybox.com website yep. uh, where you can find more information about batteries. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's uh, you, Leo Richard. from BYD. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate it.